No, sir. Bruce right. Baker at the jail. That's what I thought. Doing? Happy to see you again in 08. Bruce, good I to see you. I have been tied up dealing with uh, shift change and training issues on swing shifts. I haven't been able to make any meetings. And I plan on making a bunch of Tuesday meetings, so I'm not going to go away. You folks are going to have to deal with me, <laughs> and that's the way it is. Now, I could help solve some of your problems here that have been expressed. And that's going to be, right now we currently rent 30 beds of our jail to deal with the Department of Corrections. They house their parole and probation violators for a minimum amount of time. We have 252 beds that are empty. Right now on this very date that where you guys are sitting at and where I'm standing at, 252 beds that we pay to have electricity to, heat to, and water to that are unoccupied. We take 50 of those beds, let DOC have them at $80 a day. We're pulling $6,400 a day, $42,000 a week, $176,000 a month, $2.1 million for the year. To open that 50 beds is one tank. That one tank cost to us as the taxpayers is just around a million dollars to run the staff in that thing. You could take the other million and some and help these folks out. Just like that. It's a good suggestion. Yes, sir, it is. And if you know, remember, three years ago I brought the thing about building these folks in the first place. Yeah. We've been collecting, oh, about 700000 a year on that as it is now. So let's use the empty bed space. Let's house these guys. Let DOC have the space and then can use the money for other things. Very good. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Mr. Meeker. Councilmember Farrell. With an offense in Pierce County, or would they be from someone like King County who may get let re released, and then we get more people on our rolls from? Councilman Fur, what happens is with the DOC violators that we mm -hmm. deal with, they are from Pierce County, uh -huh. some from King County, they're uh -huh. some from Thurston County, and what happens is we end up with them. They get booked on Thursday night, and our liaison that we have DOC tries to find bed space for them, and he moves them every day a week. And so what happens is you might have a King County guy in there on a Monday, but he'll be gone on a Wednesday or a Thursday. You could have Pierce County people on a Friday, and they are moved on a Monday. But the fact is that those guys are aching to have bed space. They're not going to be importing anybody in here. What it does is keep the streets clean from the ones that are roaming around right now this very minute that we keep turning people loose. we got 250 beds that are empty. Let's and they will go back and get charged in their own county? or Well, they will end up doing time in another facility, whether it be at Shelton, uh, the women go to Purdy, things like that. Well, uh, I, I'm not going to speak for Councilmember Murray, but we're going to be doing the Criminal Justice Task Force, and I would hope that you would attend one of those meetings and bring that suggestion up. I was going to say, my last comment was, yesterday I couldn't make the meeting where you guys were discussing this issue, and I'm more than happy to take my 27 years' experience in the, in the field of corrections and law enforcement and do what we got to do to make this thing right. Because the bottom line is, folks, a full jail is a safe community. Bottom line. Thank well you. said, Mr. Meeker. Thank, Thank you for joining us once again. We never get tired of seeing you. Thank you. <laughs>